then and I can stop that local recording. All right. Spoon. You have on the dock, you finish Star Ocean and Tales of Arise DLC. Yep. Anything you want to add about Star Ocean or... Um, I'll say just a few a few things about okay. it. Um, and that is like... Because when we talked about it last week, I was nearly done. I was yep. like within a few hours. Um, uh, yeah, the end game boss... The bosses in the final dungeon were uh, the worst. So I turned it down to normal difficulty. Oh. From hard difficulty because I was just not having it. Like mm -hmm. the, the, the bosses, like they were just horrible no staggering status ailments all over the place like yeah tons of dam tons of damage they all had like over a million health yeah. and it it was the worst so uh i yeah. turned it down to normal and i can tell you this 100 percent: the game is way less frustrating and the combat is way more fun on galaxy difficulty as opposed to universe um so oh, that's I'm what sure. i'll say i think maybe some of my previous comments were colored a little too much by universe difficulty which i think is just i don't know like they need something in between because as i talked about like galaxy was like though they were e like all those end game bosses were like pretty easy on galaxy uh -huh. and the early game as i mentioned i think last week were was complete face roll on galaxy which is why i turned it up sure um and maybe I stuck with the universe a little bit too long and I should have yeah. just turned it back down at some point because, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so I feel like they need a difficulty in between those two, but whatever it is, what it is, it's a fun enough game. Um, I did enjoy my time with it despite all my complaints sure. last week. Um, mm -hmm. I do like, I did like the story. The story is actually pretty good. Um, nothing like earth shadowing at earth shattering or amazing, but I think it's pretty good. The characters are like, they're fun and likable. Uh -huh. Um, so pretty good pretty pretty good game um definitely worth it um i think it's 50 dollars um which now yeah, to some people maybe is a little steep but if it's on a sale for like 30 or like 30 or something definitely worth that mm -hmm. um so yeah i think that's that's all i'll say about a uh, star ocean okay and the uh, tales of arise dlc i finished i you know played the whole thing within basically the last week uh, I finished it last night. Okay. Uh, it took me about 17 hours to get through the entire thing. That's like I did all the side quests and I got all the achievements for the DLC. Okay. Um, okay. So it's not particularly long. No. Um, and as I mean, we mentioned a little bit last week, uh, there is quite a bit of recycle content in the game. You're kind of running through uh, the same area, a lot of the same areas that you did in the in the main game. With slight differences here and there, but not much. Mm -hmm. um, there are three new dungeons in the game. Okay. Um, for the for the story for the story, um, and they're they're decent. The final dungeon actually, despite the last bunch of final dungeons in Tales game, I actually quite liked the final dungeon in this mm -hmm. DLC. Uh, it wasn't too long. Uh, there wasn't any like horrible enemies in it. Because mm -hmm. um, the final dungeon in the base game was just an absolute slog. It's it's awful. Um, and the final boss was... I mean, it wasn't very difficult, but it was a cool fight. It, it had too much health. It was super tanky. There was, like, two phases. The first one had 600,000 HP. The next second phase had close to a million. So, nice. Yeah. Um, super tanky, but, you know, it's fine. It's a spectacle. It wasn't that hard. Sure. Um... um and I actually quite like the story. They, they, um, they went into some interesting, interesting themes that you don't see explored very often in RPGs. Um, though, well, uh, one in particular, you know, it was, it was more of a, most of the story is, is around like, just the repercussions of like the end of tales of arise and how like the people of the new world are like working together because you have these like centuries of hate between like the donna danons and the mm -hmm. renans and now they all have to like live together and work together and it is not going well of course it isn't part. of course like, it isn't like, um there's no it's never going to work well at least for probably a while yeah 
So a lot of the game is around that, and it's not like all sunshine and rainbow. I mean, you know, the the ending is, you know, it's it's very hopeful, but like mm-hmm. it's not like you've solved every problem in the world at the end. At the end, like you know, there's still gonna be turmoil, and it's gonna take probably decades, if not centuries, for it to like finally like yeah, get sure. better. Yeah. Um, so I like I think that's well done, but the one thing they do explore in this game that is not explored in a, a lot of games because uh, you know most of the time you know in an RPG you go through your you know your you save the world or whatever you beat the big bad you're the hero and the game's over. Yep. In this game, there is parts of the story well where, where like Alfin, the main character, is like grasping with the idea of like being a hero and yep. like how that's affected his life and like how people see how people like relying on him like the danans like love him and see him as the hero but like the renans hate him because he like ruined their society and stuff like that um and it's him kind of like grasping with that fact on his like on his new life and like what it means to be a hero and uh stuff like that so i think like there was one moment that kind of like introduces this story arc that i think was a little out of character for him and i didn't really like but other than that i think it's actually handled quite well in this dlc and uh, i like that they went into that element because as i said that's that's not something you see in a lot of games because usually like you're the hero and the game ends you don't see the aftermath of like what being a hero means so like got it I liked it, and I mean, you know, I like the combat, I like the characters, that doesn't change. Um, So if you liked Tales of Arise, um, then, you know, I think this this DLC is, uh, will be up, will up your alley. If you didn't like Tales of Arise, this sure won't change your mind. If you didn't Uh, like it, why would you play it? (laughs) Why would you play the DLC? They they didn't change very, like, they didn't change very much, but, uh, but the story was, to me, surprisingly good, actually. I was expecting it to be a little more throwaway, like, it's just kind of there. And I I quite I quite enjoyed the story and sort of the themes um, and things they explored um, in the DLC. So... Okay. Um, but yeah, I agree with what Ghost just said in the chat. $30 is probably a bit steep for what's what's on offer. Um, probably 20 20 to me is more reasonable. But yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. Um, actually, I don't really have anything to say on my side, to be honest with you. Uh, all I did was play Age of Wonders, and I beat that ridiculous story mission. Mission 5. Mission yeah, that, five. that's a hard mission. I don't, I don't really need to chat about it, so I, I'll just not, because there's just not much to say. It's the same mission, but I think they just made it easier, I think is all they did. They just they give you like strong units early. You're um your allies actually do things so which you don't, is which, which is, is helpful it is like so your, it's your like quality of life improvements that they made improving yeah. the ai made made it easier because your so allies they, actually do something yeah they, the like, allies do something and i just um i i think i just changed up my strategy i was trying to butt heads with the strong guy too early I, I just bullied his allies first and then i went to him i just think yeah that was i, I was trying to like go after him too much and I think I put the difficulty low enough. I, I think I put it on a low difficulty because I just wanted to get through it. He also yeah. just didn't attack that much. So I I don't want to try it again on a harder difficulty, but I would like to maybe see... It would be interesting to try it on normal, hard, to see what the actual differences are now because before, like... Before it was horrible. So, yeah, you know... I'm glad I got through that. There are story missions, by the way, with the new DLC, so I'm going to try those and uh, and go from there. So, I don't know. I, I haven't done anything else besides Age of Wonders. I've been, like, strapped with work, and outside of that, like, that's what I've been doing. So, it's it's been a busy, busy week just doing all that and, and other things. So, the games, games are taking a back seat, frankly, for a bit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't have anything else to add. Um, uh, it's probably good timing because yeah. I got some family in the house and I'll need to vacate this room at some point soon because uh, this becomes a baby room. So yeah. so I got to convert this back to the baby room at some point soon. So I don't know if you have anything else to add, like go for it. Otherwise I can turn things down. Um, 
No, I don't think so. Again, I don't think there's much to talk about okay. uh, extensively for me. Uh, as I said, I'll be uh, I'll be playing Persona 5 Tactica now. That's uh, next uh, next on the list. So I'll talk about that probably next time, um, which will be in two weeks, which, two we, weeks time. which we mentioned at the beginning of the podcast. So taking yep. next weekend off due to due to thanks the Thanksgiving holiday here in the states, and we'll be back in in two weeks. Yep. Okay, as you said, we'll be back in two weeks. Um, we will see y'all then. Hopefully I can get these videos up in a timely manner before Thanksgiving. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble because I'm not going to be able to help much with the uploading process if I don't do it quickly. So, yeah, thanks everyone for coming by. And uh, we will be back, uh, wow, beginning of December, December 2nd, we will be back. And... Um, Think we'll have some a few things to talk about. I, I don't know. We're not going to get as much game news though. I think I think game news is going to go. Yeah, down next for next a while. week is probably next week is probably going to be very yeah. late if if anything, and then yep. we'll see the week the week after that if there's there's anything. But yep. yeah, cool. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. So we'll see y'all later. Back in uh, two weeks. Yep. <laughs>